It's not the name on my birth certificate, but it's what everyone calls me. Um, and where it came about was there was a psychic woman that used to live across the road to me. And um, I said, what, what should I do? I need a name. I need a better name than the one that's on my birth certificate. She said, Vince Kid, who's said Vince Kid, you need a star. But it kind of like, now it kind of has meaning. Like, I, I guess it's kind of like my inner child, I guess. My musical style, I would describe as fucked up London kid <laughs> trying to make it big. I don't know, like I think it started off with like singing more than writing. I was always a singer at school, like at primary school even. I wanted to be in a gospel choir. That was my main ambition. <laughs> and then I just kind of. I don't know, as you grow up, you become more comfortable and, and confident in yourself. And I just needed to, I just needed to write. I just, the artists that I grew up listening to always wrote their own songs, and that kind of inspired me to start getting more music, musically minded as opposed to just thinking about singing. Yeah. The debut album is released next year. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, uh, this is a long time coming. I've worked so hard on this record, and it's so fucking fresh and so fucking right. So fucking much for next year. Can't wait. Just expect sex <laughs> and soul and fashion and every, my whole world. Just every part of it imagined together. I'll raise the bar. I wanna feel me baby, cause you're my star. I'm hooked up. I can't stop. In the name of sick love, I'm gonna make you come, 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 come down with sick love. Do you ever consider signing your own clothes range or anything? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on, it. Yeah, I'm working on a range called Oddball. Um, yeah, but that, it's still like very early days with it. So. But yeah, like fashion, the fashion world is it's been really cool. The, the fashion world is embracing me. I like a mixture of different stuff. I guess I like a lot of shit. I feel, I feel like it's not just London that inspires it. It's yeah. more like transatlantic. It's like everything. And then I've just got a lot of friends that are very fucking crazy. And, you know, I go to parties and I'm like, shit, like, fuck, like, what are you wearing? I need this in my life. Mm -hmm. So, just, uh, just through what I see and music videos and just everything, really. Just walking down the street, you can get mad inspired to, to wear something for At the moment, I'm really into that kind of, like, James Dean and Elvis, yeah. like, 50s poster boy, a mix of a bit of, like, I musical icons. There's quite a lot. Um, the first one was Amy Winehouse. Like, I listened to that Frank record, I first heard it when I was like 13, mm. and I didn't really listen to anything else for like three years. Just listen to her straight, like every day. Um, so Amy, Lauren Hill, I love. Uh, I'm really ambitious, and uh, I just have a like, lust for life, you know? So there's so much that I want to do. Like, I, I want to play glass for me, I want to fucking be in America, and visit Hong Kong and China and the whole fucking world so yeah there's a lot of plans and let's go do it. It will do. Sounds good.